Steaming like a turd. <laughs> I'm melting. <laughs> oh man. If your sleeping bags went through, you could have the fire, mate. It'd be a long night. It's all right, though. If we all if we all sleep in here, uh, we'll generate a lot of body heat, try and keep you warm. I might just put it over me or something, do you know what I mean? I'm sure it'll give me some kind of warmth. Hopefully when you, your jackets may have dried out your time. Yeah. Is your video still? Yeah, it's alright. <laughs> it's like you're sat in darkness over there. <laughs> Hello, Facebook. It's very cold. My feet are warming up now. Yeah. I didn't get too many jelly babies, I don't feel too good. Hola. <laughs> the wind is absolutely howling outside. It's about a proper refuge, isn't it? Yeah. Now that it's warming up in here, I I feel, I feel a lot better, like knowing, you know, knowing how bad the weather is out there, yeah. and that we could potentially be intense out in that, you know, that sort of weather. But we're not. Yeah, like we'd sit tense probably in a minute. Oh, could you imagine if we were not coming here to a big fire and we were just going to our tents? What now? Yeah, it'd be horrendous. We'd have to go. We'd You'd have, have to, to turn back. Yeah. It's weird though, because it weren't even, the rain itself wasn't even that heavy. It was just, um, it was more the the fact it was so windy, I think, do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's horizontal at one point, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. Into a, a rap. Um, no, a um, island shake, shouldn't we? Necessarily called this wild camping, would you? Well, but it's certainly not side camping, no. is it? I don't know. It's, 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 it still is wild camping, I suppose, because you're walking into the middle of nowhere. You've got no facilities. I was just thinking camping. of the fact that we bought some beers with us. And, you know, I don't. Oh, I don't yeah. consider that normal. Although some wild campers do, don't they? You know, oh, yeah, yeah. they take the big do. frying pan and the big steaks and all that rubbish. You know. I used I used to have steaks, and I thought it's just too much effort. Start tweaking, but no, I, I like to bring a drink. I never, I never take alcohol with me at all. Like, yeah, not even hit plus five. Some people like it because it helps them relax and yeah, stuff. Yeah, and that's yeah. part of their relaxation, isn't it? Well, I thought about it. I thought about bringing a hip flask with some brandy in or something. But one, I'm not that keen on brandy anyway. Yeah. But two, I've heard that it drops your core temperature anyway. So I didn't know whether it'd actually be detrimental to what you're trying to yeah. achieve. Do you know what I mean? Well, there's all sorts of stuff about. Um, Beer is supposed to, well, beer dehydrates you, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. And there was an article in, I think it was Trailer Magazine, ages ago, last year sometime, and somebody said, somebody wrote in and said that him and his girlfriend always had this debate after they'd been on a, on a long hike. 
she said it's always better to have a pint of water. Mm. And he said, well, I always feel a lot more refreshed after a pint of beer. And it's, it's psychological. I, well, I was just about to say that, because it probably is the pint of water that's better for you, but it's what makes you feel good, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's a proper furnace, that is, isn't it? Yeah. You could make all shoes with that, couldn't you? It's amazing that your attitude go from this, this, this pile of sh to, oh, you can do horseshoe with this. Fire's an amazing thing, isn't it? The thing is, like, we was all being a bit run down on the, on the way here. I knew as soon as we got here, sat down, got past the initial, oh, crap, we're sitting down, it's cold in here, and we're, yeah. and we're wet. Got a fire going and yeah. had, a, had a brew or whatever. I knew we'd be all right. I don't think the fire's brilliant. It's not, but it's, if you go in there for like two minutes, yeah. It's, I, I don't want to a lot better. Well, we're starting from a low point, aren't we? Of yeah. kind of being freezing and wet and yeah, yeah. all that. <coughs> right, then, for a bit, a bit, a bit more lightweight approach to stuff yeah. um, across spring and summer, just to, just to dip into it and see how it goes. I'm not going to go mental and spend loads of money because mm. the, the lighter weight you get, is, it tends to be more money, doesn't it? But, but mm. just sh shaving a, a little bit of weight off, like I'll probably, I'd be interested to see how. Down blankets do or your quilts, yeah. whatever they're called. Yeah, that, that's the big thing for me. Do, and they, how they, are. do they pack smaller then? Well, yeah, it's, so yeah. it's just one. I would say it's effectively it's like half a sleeping bag. Yeah. Yeah. It's like half a sleeping bag as long as you've got a decent mat underneath you. Which you haven't got the hood as well. You haven't got the zip. Yeah. You could potentially get away with having like a 30 mile litre of day cycling too. Well, I mean, you could go you could go quilt, decent, therm, you know, thermarest or other bag or other uh, mat and then. Tarp and bivy, couldn't you? Mm. And then you'd get rid of your tent. The tarp and bivy, I bet all of that would only um, weigh the same as a tent. Certainly my tent, anyway. Right, with that, we've had a, a hard day's hiking today after um, after a wild camp last night, and uh, we decided to stay in a bothy tonight. We're there now. It's uh, the weather's been quite terrible, to be honest with you. So at least. Yeah, to say the, to say the least, it's um, it's been windy, rain, rain was horizontal at times. It's been cold. We've all got soaking wet. Stuff's uh, drying off in front of the fire nicely, and uh, about to use the jet boil to uh, make myself a quick cup of coffee. That. How long do you reckon it's been so far? About a minute? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it's a bit, um, a bit of a surprise, isn't it? When you taste it. Every one I've had so far has been good, apart from the goulash, which there was the we first go. one. It's on. And that was because... Um, Okay. Right.